I was locked up when I was 23 years old, and I didn't, re I, didn't I, I wasn't released till I was 40, 16 years, 10 months, and eight days, to be exact. Being in the prison is nothing physical. And I didn't know that at first, but it, it, it was not physical, it was, it was mental. You know, it was mental, you got to have, you know, you got to be strong mentally to deal with the conditions. And it was heavy, you know, it was heavy because I ain't did it. On the, on the day that the crime occurred, I was, I was in my house on August 7th, 1997, and I was rocking my two-year-old daughter to sleep. And um, it was maybe 11.30, 12 o'clock at night, and I got a knock on the door. They, they'd say uh, that they was gonna take me down to the police station to take a polygraph and talk to a detective, and that they was gonna bring me back home. You know, by me being ignorant to the law, and you know, I know I'm innocent, and maybe it's gonna come out. And I've already been in jail a few months, you know, I'm ready to go home, so I accepted the fact that we're gonna go to the speedy trial because I know I'm innocent, you know, and that it was gonna come out in trial. Everybody, you know, when I'm with the Angola, you know, when I begin to work on my case, you know, that's what everybody was doing. I begin to work on my case, and I begin to learn about my case, you know, and I wasn't getting very far. And so I began to write people that could help me with my case, like the Innocence Project. I really appreciate the Innocence Project for what they've done for me. And I know that if the Innocence Project wouldn't have took my case on, I'd still be sitting in prison. I wanted to teach my kids principles. You know, uh, I wanted to teach my kids how to rise above the poverty level. You know, I wanted to expose them to other things. You know, I wanted to try to give them, uh, or should I say, help them to develop a better life than what I had. I miss, you know, my, my two daughters, but I have my grandkids, and what I wanted to do in my two daughters, I'm gonna do in my grandkids. The people at the Innocence Project, they committed themselves, you know, to, to helping me. And I wouldn't want nothing more than for the Innocence Project to continue to function and to continue to help people.